so yeah, last time uh, we received, uh, like we came into the crown jail. We prepared for some fights also. Uh, okay, this is one is the... I can't attack, what? For real? Um, yeah. First of all, I'm going to stream Trades in the Sky. After that, I'm going to stream some... Whoops. Assassin's Creed, and uh, as soon as I'm done, I'm going to play... Uh, or as soon as I have enough from Assassin's Creed, I'm going to start with... What was it called again? Uh, Unravel, right. I, w I want to try out Unravel. So that's what I'm going to do today. Damn it! Annoying little scorpion. Our Earth. Uh, let's see, we're gonna heal Joshua up, but we don't want Joshua to get killing him, this guy before he can make his turn, whatever. Uh, from this place we just use a um, stone hammer. Maybe I could have solved this a little bit better, but um, for now it should be okay. Uh, I just thought I would have a weird stream set up. Okay, what what does my monster book says? Because we have uh, not enough killed of these, okay. Or does they still count as a monster of uh, bows? That is an interesting question. So, where do we go? We're gonna fight this guy. With a preemptive attack. They are probably weak against something I don't have. So we're gonna use it like this. And probably made a huge mistake. Uh, let's see, I could kill him. But as soon as I do it like this, uh, I'm definitely getting into trouble. So we're gonna move backwards a little bit. And just use another art to defense, defend myself. Because now they are going to try to attack me. All on the same, come on. Um, we're just gonna use the... Uh, uh, no, not the Earth Guard. Um, the Air Strike, is it then? To hopefully kill this guy. And you can heal him. And you are... Are you, are you fast enough? Uh, not really. I'm going to use an airstrike on him. I get him eliminated perfectly. This actually does look good. So, um, maybe I should rotate more on this guy side when I want to play. Uh, we're just gonna throw the Aqua Bolt on him, because he already is wounded. And with an airstrike, he should probably die. Uh, yeah. I just thought I made a mistake, but he's dying. Great. Piece of cake. I still can't... Hi, hi, yikes! Mm, I learned not to run away. I don't already fought them, right? Queen Scorpion and King Scorpion. I, I remember them fighting before, so I'm not interested in another fight against these creatures. So, let's see what else do we have here. Ah, okay. Well... Estelle. Estelle. Yep. Ooh. Hey Yosha, check it out! It's an ocean! Yes, I think I would have figured that out. It's so blue and sparkling and just huge! And the sound of the waves and the smell of the tide. So this is what it all feels like? 
Is this the first time you've seen the ocean? Well, I kind of sort of remember seeing it when I was really young. I was on an ocean liner with Dad that one time. That might be the first time I've seen it up close, though. I see. It's been a long while for me as well. We got here by walking, so no ship is this time. Yep, I feel like we've accomplished something. I kind of feel like I, I want to check something out. I, I just I still have the feeling that I forgot something. I just want to check it out really quick. Uh, look. What to. Ah, uh, Scorpion. Go, go away. I found EP charge. Nothing to see here. Move along. I kinda expected this to be forgotten. Also, I thought here would be some too. But it doesn't look like it here. Also, this place looks also kinda suspicious. But I think I have already unlocked this one. Because I didn't want it to fight anymore, right? Yeah, and here I'm back to the Chrome Pass checkpoint. Okay, we, we're gonna check this chest for now. And then we're gonna run back. I, f I thought... I thought it would be a little bit mysterious to not encounter a single chest in this whole area. But, um... Actually, I've been here before, uh, oh, the last time. Hey, Sanji, welcome back to my stream. How are you today? I nearly forgot a chest, I'm so happy that I ran back. Whoops, what do I have here? Oh, it's a little fishy. It's an angry fishy. Uh, what are you? No, we're not moving. Fire. I want a grilled fish. When I say grilled fish, I really want it grilled. I expected it to burn a little bit faster, but um, let's burn it again. Uh, where do we have it? Just in case. Better safe than sorry. Um, nope, it was on the Ottmans. For Estella, we want to use the tier on Joshua two times. It's just another fish, right? Preemptive attack. It's just another fish. How much is Mila? I thought I had a preemptive attack. What's wrong with this thing? I thought I would have a double attack or something like this. Well, never mind. Fish filet. Mm. This time I didn't receive any burnt fish. Uh, where am I here? Okay, just finished watching an anime called My Yoga, and it's confusing. My My Yoga? Never heard of it. What is the anime about? Morgen geht's dort. I kinda expected there to be monsters. Um, excuse me? Cross they are weak against water. Ach, god damn it. These are the reason why I saved. We're just gonna retry it. I mean, I'm full life like to earlier. I'm close to full life. Um, let's see. I can start with an airstrike again. Do, 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 do. And then Earth Wall, and I'm going to use the Yashua again. God damn it. Okay, okay, I've got it. Jeez, I'm gonna heal myself. Uh, load. Yes, please. Items. Um, Ottmans. Ottmans. Definitely the Ottmans. 
We're gonna heal. Oh, wait. Controls. Artments. Estella. Tear herself. Tear Joshua. Tactics. Character position. Battle position. Set as break. Ah, okay, okay, but I only have these two. Okay, we're gonna save this one again. Doubled. Uh, it's from 2016. There's 30 people in a bus and going to a village called Nanakimura to start a new life. It's very interesting at the beginning, okay. Um, I started an anime during this season. It's uh, basically a new anime, three episodes out. Uh, to your eternity is it called? It's also some kind of interesting. You have a creature summoned by gods or something like this placed in into the into the world, and this creature can uh, transmutate, can can evolve into. Um, other creatures as soon as it touches them. It's also somehow interesting. So now it's my time to shine. These monsters are dead by now. I'm not joking around this time. Oh, I jump over them with Sierra, that's interesting. Um, and you can, oh no, not tear him apart, you can aqua bleed it apart. Nah, close. Pale flame. Oh, so this is a fire elemental, interesting. We're good to go. Prickly seed, one time, for the lily necklace. The chest is as empty as your seething heart. My heart isn't em uh, my seething heart isn't empty. I mean, it, well, my my heart is empty, but uh, it's not seething. It's just a little bit greedy. Greedy for everything. I'm done fighting fishes. Don't want to fight any fish in here. I also need to take a closer look around on this path. Did I save this chest? I mean, I saved the victory, but I did I save that I talk to the chest? East Ruin, Manoria Village. And thus would be the Van, Van, Varane Lighthouse, okay? Let's let's take a short look on the map. Uh, I believe that I do have to get into the village some point. Uh, I don't want to run this pass right now. Ah, here's this, another flame. Uh, but no more chests, right? I want to fight a chest. Uh, not not a chest. I want I want to fight a a flame. A single one. That's great. And it's missing me. Oh, I'm close to dead. I see. Uh, but we just gonna use aqua bleed, and that should be probably everything already. Probably, yeah, it is. Piece of cake. What does my monster book says? Stove plant and hammerhead, okay. Manoria village. My beloved iced tea. Is my stream setting alright? Yeah. Whoops. Double oops. Ah, civilization at last. Mm, yep. It was all the pretty white flowers blooming everywhere too. <clears throat> what did you say this place was called? 
Manoria. It's a little seaside village with an inn. And the white flowers are a type of hibiscus. They're so pretty. The ocean and the flowers together. It smells great around here. It ought to make me kind of hungry. <laughs> Only you could work up an appetite from smelling flowers. Just make sure you eat the food and not the flowers. Hey, I'm a growing girl. It's almost noon anyway. So what would you say to lunch? Fine by me, but do we have any provisions? Um, why, don't get his, why don't we get something local? It's such a nice quiet little town. I mean, we just got to run. That's true. Okay, let's check out the inn and tavern. Wo bin ich denn hier? Where am I? And you are the reason I get sleepless nights. Remember this. I used to work at the harbor in ruin, but I came back to the verge of my burst. I probably wound up settling down right where I was born and raised. The only downside is that my also delightful sister is here. Spending half of the night reading Tower of God. I blame Sanji for this. Neck was fired from his job in ruin, so he came back here. I have to wonder if he ever put any thought into his future. His big sister is always worried about him. Well, this doesn't seem like an... Uh... <laughs> can't move behind this house? Oh, I can, but I can't move around it. Uh, wait. How did... Ah, okay. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Let's talk of God more sky. Yes. Well, actually, yes, but I don't have the time to stream that often right now. Also, I actually should do some for my uh, study because I have a uh, project with a deadline on end of Monday. Oh, are you travelers? If you're looking for a place to eat, I suggest you try the White Magnolia. They've got good food and you get a fair amount for your money. It's worth checking out. Ah, my travelers, welcome to Manoria. At one time, this village was quite renowned for its own. But with the advent of airships, we've seen far less traffic. Nowadays, we survive only because of the famous flower. Hm. I have absolutely no idea where I'm walking. I mean, I'm checking out building by building. Oh, right, 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 right. They were they were colored, right? I totally forgot they were colored. Uh, I want to rest first. Sixty for a night. Well, then I get a beautiful amount of mirror. Forty, fourteen thousand. Well, uh, let's save because I. Fountain. Welcome, welcome. Care for some food? We're happy to have you. I make it all myself with the help of my husband, and I'm quite confident you'll have every bite. Shelby. And Alvin. Is anything upstairs? Anything lootable upstairs? Oh, it's a roof. Nah, it doesn't look like loot. Uh, Diera Paella, 500 meter, please. Die, die Haas Paella, whatever. Uh, shop, what else do you have to offer? Recipe not learned. Let's buy one of these. Because I don't have any one of these in my inventory. 
Uh, yeah, okay, let's talk. Welcome to the White Magnolia. I don't recall seeing you before. Are you here on vacation? Uh, we're just passing through on our way to Ruin. We came from Bros by way of the Crown Pass. <laughs> You're joking! Wow, I never thought I'd meet another person brave enough to handle that place in this day and age. You're into hiking, I assume? No, not especially. It sure works up on the appetite, so... Is there anything you particularly recommend? Oh yes, I suggest trying the box lunch. The box lunch. Oh, a bento. <laughs> Uh, what's that? That windmill at the edge of town has a platform with a great wheel. Every day at lunch, lots of people buy them and take them here, there to eat. Uh, that might be nice. From what you say, it sounds like something I'd like. Well, why don't we try it? What kind of box lunches are there? Well, there's smoked ham sandwich and the seafood pile. Either would be good, in my opinion. Hmm, I think I'll try the sandwich. Then I'll have the sa seafood pair. Thank you. That'd be 120 Mira. Never mind. Okay, let's buy it. Res received special box lunch. And I toss on some herb tea at no charge. It's my speciality. Thanks. Want to go over to the wheel platform? Sure. I kinda expected that I had to go there. Oh, what's now? I've already checked here, girl in uniform. It's not in the general store either. So. Damn, where could he be? You, you do know this girl. I sense it, Sanji. You do know this girl. In uniform. Get a move on, Yoshua, and they crash into it. He, she crashed into it. Whoa, Estella, watch where you're going, or... I knew it. I, I kind of expected it. Oh. No, I'm, I'm sorry, are you okay? I wasn't paying attention to where I was going and... No, no, it's alright. Arami, I confess my attention was elsewhere as well. Oh, okay. So, I guess we're even. I swear, Stella, what are you doing? What's wrong? Yeah, sure. Nothing. I'm sorry if she disturbed you. You're not hurt, I hope. No, I'm fine. I was looking for someone and I wasn't watching where I was going. Oh, who are you looking for? A little boy, about 10 years old, wearing a cap. I don't suppose you have seen him by any chance. A boy in a cap. You see anyone like that, Yoshua? Not that I can recall, no? I see. Where could he be? If you excuse me, sorry to have caused you any trouble. I feel like I am not suitable to synchronizing girls. Yoshua? Hello, calling Yoshua. Come in, Yoshua. Huh? Uh, what is it? Gee, I wonder. Oh, I get it. I see what's going on. What half-baked idea are you cooking up this time? No, no, no need to be shy about it. I see the way she set your heart aflutter. Absolutely not. I just think I've met her before a long time ago. I was just surprised. Hmm? Met her before, you say? As pick-up lines go, I give it 30 points. Moving on, don't you recognize her uniform? Now that you mention it, isn't that the same outfit that Josette used as a disguise? Yep, the Genius Royal Academy uniform. Since we're in Ruin, it's not all that surprising to see someone wearing one. Ah, uh, so that's the real thing then. She seemed polite and smart and refined. Totally different from the scruffy pretender, in other words. What are you talking about? Josette had co you completely fooled from the get-go. Oh, that's right. You teased me about it then, too. Well, if you get taken for a fool again, don't expect me to help you. Instead of picking on me, why not work on becoming a better judge of character? Alright, alright. 
Fine, I won't pick on you anymore. Good. Now, why don't we have, go have lunch up on the Wii Home platform? Fine. Well, let's save this dialogue before I go. I'm not really interested in taking lunch. He said something about a store. Maybe a few of them couldn't hurt. Uh, okay. Let's see what else we get here. Fewer general goods. Uh, we want to open the shop. What can we buy here? Uh, Kiosk mute. Restores 100 EP. These are just ingredients. Ingredients, ingredients, ingredients. A little bit cheap for ingredients sometimes. Maple sugar, ooh. The highway is this way. I think the windmill outside of town has a weird platform in it. Yeah, I kinda expected that I wasn't allowed to go there. Oh, sad but true. Let's keep on moving. Back. What do you want from me? Oh, there you want me to go. Well, check out this view. Yep, you can practically see the entire ocean from here. Yeah, Express recipes and cook something cheaper and sell it for mommy. Oh, that's interesting. Getting to eat and getting to eat at a nice place like this really makes it feel like you're living up it up, huh? It sure does. So shall we have ourselves a little picnic then? Sure. I'm starving. Get a lot of the small pan sandwich. Mm, it smells so good. I'm looking forward for eating my seafood paella personal. I love the smell of saffron. Well, let's take a... Yes, let's... Time for that first bite. Go. Well, it's good as it smells. So let's just super fresh and crunchy. The paella is really good too. Just the right amount of saffron. My compliments to the chef. Hey, can I have a bite? An indirect kiss. I've never tried paella before. Alright, how about we share? Mm. My hands are full. Oh, it's getting romantic here. I know, you can feed me. Feed you? Yep. Uh, this is a little embarrassing. Oh, it's fine. It's not like anyone's watching. Unless you can't let loose, you never enjoy yourself. It's not being seen that makes it embarrassing. I don't have much of a choice here, do I? Yes, sure, fed fed Estelle a bite of the paella. Mind you, cool. Mm, delicious, that's some pretty fantastic seafood. I don't know what that sweet peppery smell is, but really it's something. Yeah, it's pretty good. Oh, I'm being selfish, aren't I? Okay, give this a try. Estella pushed her sandwich into Yoshua's mouth. Perhaps a little too enthusiastically. <laughs> Die! Die! Where was I? That's pretty tasty, but you really didn't have to do that, you know? <laughs> I know. Uh, that hits the spot. The herbal tea we got was our meal. It was pretty good. Yeah, it was nice and warm. Without sitting all heavy. The breeze is so nice. Makes me kind of sleepy. They say you shouldn't sleep right after eating. But maybe a little post meal nap isn't so bad in moderation. Yeah. Huh?
That's the first bird on the entire game. Hey, did you see the bird? It looked like the seagull, except it was huge. Yeah, the wings were a different shape on the beak was sharp. And the beak was sharp. Maybe it was a falcon or an eagle. You do know something again, Sanji. I, I sense it, based on your emoticon. A white falcon? Didn't know they made him that color. Mm, I wonder if it's a sign of good fortune in our future. <laughs> well, that would be nice. Hey, I thought you were sleeping. Oh, not anymore, I guess. Maybe we should get going then. I'd like to check in with the Romanian guild branch and get all our paperwork scared away. Oh, right. Okay, I hate to leave, but I guess we have to. I think I wasn't in here. Ah, uh, no, I do, I do was in there. I want to check something before I leave this place any further. I... Okay, let's not check something. Boy wearing cap. Oh, it's a cap. I, why did I read cape? Today must be my day for just randomly running into people. Sorry about that. I'm just looking for somebody. Say, so, you're not from around here, aren't you? Nope. We're from out of town. Hey, aren't you... Well, what? We ran into a girl who said she was looking for a boy who was wearing a cap. You know anything about that? Oh, I'm looking for her actually. Where did you see her? Over by the tavern. It was a while ago, so I'm, I'm not sure where she went. Would you like us to help you search? Uh, no, that's okay. I'm pretty sure I can find her. Okay, bye. That kid seemed pretty and get it. He reminds me a little of Luke back in Roland. I wonder what the kids are up to now. What's wrong, Yoshu? It might be just my imagination, but... Have you lost anything? Lost? What? Anything you're wearing? Like a money pouch or something? Why are you asking all of a sudden? Let's see. Pouch? Check. Hairbands? Check. Bracer emblem? I knew it. What's up? Where is it? Did I drop in the mud or something? Calm down. I remember that you had it when you, we were eating lunch. If you lost it, it has to be somewhere around here. But, but we're around here. No way. Yeah, I'm thinking the same thing. It was probably that kid. I bet it happened when he accidentally ran into you. What? Why would you want my reason? What reason does a kid have for wanting anything? He probably just took it because he could. Gah. Oh, he is in so much trouble. Once I get my hands on him, he's gonna get the spanking of his life. Oh, I wanna steal her emblem too. Wait, what? <clears throat> no, calm down. For now, let's focus on figuring out where he is. Uh, actually, I wanted to right. I, I saved this dialogue because I w didn't want to have this dialogue error again. And then I wanted to try run upwards. Nah. I shouldn't have gone in, uh, into to, to the city in the first place. Uh, let's see. Uh, oops. Ah, uh, yeah, you probably ran to the tavern because we told him he could be there. But he's not up here. So let's get to the general goods store. But here he is also not. So he has to be somewhere in this place because I'm not allowed to leave this place. Do, 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 do. 
Or did he run into one of the other hotels? And as far as not here, he isn't either. Uh, he actually he shouldn't run into a, up upwards a lighthouse. A boy with a cap? Oh, uh, I know who you mean. Um, I saw him over by the flower shop. I just went there. Well, let's let's just move back to the flower shop. Hey, what's wrong? It's good. This, this one has audio again, so uh, it's 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 me. I'm I'm have story quest. Sorry, story dialogue. I have a question for you. You haven't seen that little boy in a cab around here, have you? Mm, let me see. Was he student's guest at the Royal Academy? Yes, actually. Do you know the boy? He is not from this town. I think he's one of the orphans. Huh? From Mercy Orphanage. A woman called Matron Teresa is the administrator. She takes in kids who've lost their parents. So... Estella lost his father. He's somewhere around. So, can she take care of us too? It's just off the girl's seaside, way to the east. So, the kid lives there. Let's go check it out. To the east is what they so told me, right? Let's take a look. North, east, north, west, south, east, actually. What? Well, I'm confused myself. Wait, does it mean I can? Yeah, I can move up again. Was this a place where I actually wanted to go a few dialogues ago? The Varana Lighthouse. I don't think this. Whoops, go away, fish. I'm not interested in fishing anymore. Actually, not now. I can't. I'm not allowed to take a look on the other side. But it doesn't seem like I'm allowed to go in there, right? Yeah, he stopped me. My, my, who have we here? What brings you out to the Baran Lighthouse? Nothing much. Just looking around, checking loot, give me all your treasures, old man. How about you? Why, I belong here. I'm the lighthouse keeper, I see. So I must say, it's not an easy task maintaining a lighthouse of this size. Hmm? Hold on a moment. Let me get a closer look at that emblem on your chest. Uh, not too close, okay? Oh boy. That's correct, sir. We are, in fact, bracelets. Junior bracelets, but bracelets nonsense. Well, why didn't you say that early, so earlier? Why didn't you say so earlier? You all should rush to the assistance of an octogenarian in need, but not pretend like you didn't notice this forlorn expression. Uh, what? What are you talking about, old man? Why did you say anything to us? Why didn't you say anything? Because you didn't ask. Shouldn't the first words out of your mouth as price would be something like, Are you in need of any assistance, my elderly friend? I tell you, young braces these days are all fight, no care. Where's the love? Where's the compassion? Uh, when I was young, I remember. You all are worlds apart from that manly bracer I worked with before. Now that was a bracer. You could set your clocks by, you see. I reckon that was 
seven years ago, eight perhaps, however long ago it was. He was better than you too. Uh, well, I can't tell you how much I am simply loving this abusive lectures of you. You were saying something about needing assistance. I was. Ah, oh, right, 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 right. Yes, dire need. Dire need indeed. You see, I was out cutting the grass earlier, and silly me, I forgot to shut the door when I left. And would you know it, by the time I go back there were monsters, monsters all over the place. And with monsters skittering about, I daren't go back in there. I'm not that zinny laser. Yet. So basically, you want us to exterminate the monsters, right? Hmm. That's the idea, yes. Don't know how many of them there are, so, so try not to die, alright? Uh, okay, we'll definitely do that. I do have to wonder so why monsters would wander into the lighthouse. They probably down to the septium. That light is produced by a particular apartment, as you might imagine. Spot on, whippersnapper. If this happened before, the monsters were all gathered together at the top. Oh, well, that makes sense. Well, if it makes sense, then get going, girl. Use a British body of yours and show those monsters what's what. Uh, I don't wanna, but uh, let's do it. You bet. Let's. Let's do it to it. It's almost inspection time, so please take care of these these things as quickly as you can, okay? And make sure you don't let your guard down, as those things are pretty not good. Understood. I'm ready. Let's do the same. Let's run away and pretend we helped. Okay, I can't run away anymore. It's another fish. It's three more fishes. Can I burn them? Red hammerhead. Ah, uh, what did I learn? Erswalope? Well, from where did I got these words? Are they faster than me? That was a horrible idea. A really horrible idea. I had bad ideas. I definitely had bad ideas. What's that for an icon? Eagle CCZ. What about that? I also should try to clock up, right? This fight isn't easy. But look how close they are getting him again. Can I move? What, what happens if I move? I'm the last one to do something. Okay. Speed up the flow of time. That's actually something interesting. You want to do multiple attacks on one creature. Great, he missed his critical attack. So if I now use a hurricane. But I want to try something. Right, it was this button. But then I can't pummel right now. So I'm going to use an attack on this creature. Then I'm going to use another attack on this creature too, killing it first. Now I'm going to use an S-Craft, oh I'm a genius, I'm a genius. And I lost the fight. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, let's see, are you any interested in taking a flicker right now? Yes, you are. Oh, it's also perfectly attacked. And let's just uh, pretend we make a dual strike because I feel like I would miss if I use a normal attack. Ha! Easy! I'm getting into serious troubles right now. <laughs> yeah, two times fishfully and one times kibbled sword. So, can I, can I run out of here? I actually can. And if I run in again? Okay, this monster is gone. That's that's pretty easy. No, oh, come on, fish. It it has to be a fish. But I saved. For for some great reasons, I always save. One moment. Okay, where was I? Where was I? Um, back in here, we're gonna move back. That was our destination goal. But we have to take care of the fish on the left side. Oh, in the middle of the way, whatever. And here we had flowers. Hopefully they don't see me. They don't. Bin mal für eine kurze Weile weg. You're gone for a short while. Great. Uh, see you later. Or something like this. I'm trying to make progress in the tower. You won't probably see me running around, healing, fighting, healing, fighting. North, east, west, southwest. Why, why did I tread east on the other side, actually? We're gonna run, 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 run. Runny, 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 run, run, run. So we healed ourselves high enough. And if I go back in there. These fishes are gone. Here we would have a new group of fish. And I do have another preemptive attack, but this time I see like I'm a little bit more in trouble than before. Mm. I don't like where this is going actually. Uh, let's see, can I use a flicker from here? Nope. Then we're just gonna use another Fireball? What about a, a different attack? Uh, I just wanna flip here right now and they killed one of my friends. Okay. I actually wanted to just do you know, but I don't have... Don't I have... Something area attack stuff, no? Great. <laughs> I'm going what I'm going to do next round. And they killed me. Great. Or we can retry this one. Do you have a certain guard by yourself? No. So you're gonna clock up yourself, and you're gonna use the Sylphon Guard on yourself. That was probably a bad idea. Let's just find it out. Because they keep knocking me around. But actually now I'm in position to flicker, right? No? No, I'm, I'm, I'm in position to flicker, great. So we're just gonna use an Earth War, but I wouldn't say I'm in touch of these, so... We have some items. I 
That was probably a bad idea. Well, actually not that bad as I thought. I actually want to hear myself right now. They missed. Oh, I lost my agility. Okay. This is bad. Um, but I do have another flicker attack. This is great. <laughs> and Estella even survived. Okay, that's good. That's that's really good. We can work this out if, this, if we play like this. One more attack here and... What? Why? I actually don't want to run away again. Why is it always that just one character survives? Seven years ago, this old senior man isn't talking about Cassie, right? Why is my f father... Why did my father been everywhere? Ah, come on. I somehow expected this. <sighs> Why do I play on hard again? To have more fun? To be slow in my progress? To make more mistakes for getting some precious items? I think healing myself with, um, with an inn is probably better than using I expensive items. Why did I talk to her? Double and triple saving, always saving. I don't know if that's probably not this game. I've learned it in, in, in some game. I learned that saving is really important. Which one was it? Drain Stockma. Well. Let's go back to the tower, to the lighthouse again. How many, how many floors do this tower have? Oh, here's no, no creature on the third floor. I should save again. So I spare myself on wandering around here too. Didn't expect to have two groups in here. Okay, let's, let's try something out. I want a preemptive attack. I want to be ahead when I start to fight. So, let's use the clock up again. And then we're gonna do the Sylphen Guard on myself. Just all a little bit luck based. So you're gonna go petrify breathe. Yeah, talking about luck based, right? Still don't even have an. Nope, this is not a fight I'm going to win. Oh, but I petrified one. We we try this. We we are. I have infinite tries left. Let's try something different this time. Nope, I lost Yoshua. I kinda expected this to happen. Oh yeah, and she's buffing herself, and now they're missing. Now, wow. Oh, lucky me. And I lost her. Great. Retry. I have all the time in the world. Perfect, now this is going to be a good round. 
There are only two of them left. And Ron is already petrified. Oh, this could cost a lot of EP, but I'm going to win this fight on this, like this. Can I use a flicker on these guys? No. Can I finish one with a dual strike? Probably. No! Why did I run on this guy? Oh, this could be my loss. Maybe, but only maybe. I somehow won this. Finish him off. And I missed. I just missed, come on. Uh, but lucky, lucky. Yoshi Alien taunt. Huh, interesting. I can taunt enemies around, probably. So with this fight set, we actually managed to just... So I can save my own. Oh, he made a level up. Great. Uh, let's save this one again and let's prepare on the, for the next fight. Because here we have another preemptive attack. We're just gonna do it the same as we, we did before. Because the early thing works well. The first character should be petrified. But it, he isn't, sadly enough. So we're just gonna use a um, dual strike to finish him off. Does it work? No. Totally not. And I lost one. No, I didn't. Okay. I just have to do this. I don't know why, but for a short moment it makes sense. Now I'm struggling to kill these guys. I can finish one off with a dual strike, but this guy has to miss now, and he's attacking two times. Okay. This is going to take a few attempts. I just need to be lucky in one of these. That did actually worked well. Do I have a position where I can? No. Nope. So we're just gonna use, try to petrify another one. Did not work. So we're gonna... No, we make it a little bit different this time. If I use a hurricane... Did not work, okay. But, uh, let's see, the dual strike should be enough to finish this guy here off. Let's see. If I make an earth wall, I won't get into the attack of this guy. So I'm going to attack this guy and then I make an S-craft on... Oh, this guy's petrified, okay. I should have seen this probably before, but uh, let's just do it, strike him to death. Perfectly. I told you, I just need to be... to have one round of luck. Defeated all the monsters. This means I actually... first of all I can save. And then I can take a closer look around Danger, unauthorized, unauthorized, personal, prohibited. I want to go up there. Sadly. Run all the way on top of it for nothing. How did the monster busting go? 
<laughs> Stick a fork in it, old man, because this job is done. Well done. Now I want a steak. The monsters have all been taken care of. Everything should be back to normal and then out. Oh my, that's splendid news. Finally, I can put my mind at ease. Thank you for all your hard work. And don't forget, as you flex your brace and muscles in the future, to flex hardest to strongest muscle of them all. The caring muscle. We uh, certainly will try to do that. You take care as well, you old fossil. If you excuse us. Hey. Just what do you think you're doing? Aren't y'all forgetting something? Uh, uh, I don't think so. What about, is there anything else we can do for you before we go, my good man? Huh? I'm not hearing it. I've just my mouth. A mimic is a movement. Is there anything else we can do? You get the picture? It's proper etiquette, no? Proper caring to check with your client to ensure that there are no outrages. The dashing young lad who had me before certainly knew how to leave a good impression. We all could have learned a thing or two from him. How to believe you in the same organization that he was. Like comparing palms to a dragon. You're really trying my patience, you old one back. If that dashing young man really was Adia's gift to brace us, then why don't you give us a few more pointers? Hmm? Tell us more about this man crush of yours, so we can better ourselves in his image and get you off your backs. Oh, he just a dapper fellow who came to lend me a hand seven or eight years ago. But what a man he was. Far different from you guys, that's for sure. He was a real bracer, not some cheap imitation. In fact, the only way in which I could possibly compare the two of you be would be hair color, I suppose. The same sort of reddish brown, exact same in fact. Mm. And looking closely, they say the color of your eyes is about the same too. Reddish eye. Reddish brown hair, and the same color as eyes as Estelle Boca Mamet. But wait, are you talking about... I was really hoping you'd be just like him when you said you all were braces. But I guess it was just wishful thinking. I doubt anyone could be as amazing as that man was. Count out to try so. Be diligent and maybe you'll be a real racer one day yourself. And if you're not dashing, you did help me out and I'm truly grateful. Always remember, do care for your clients and you'll do fine. Get back in there. Right now. So, what do you think was he talking about? Yeah, I couldn't help but, to, but read it into myself. Seven or eight years ago would be right on the money. So he was talking about our death plan, right? I think so. If so, so then of course we're not going to measure up. Yeah, seriously. So I guess we're braces like him now. So it's kind of flattering in a way to be compared to a medal. If we want to make names for ourselves like him, so we really have to take it one step at a time. Catch up bit by bit, day by day. But even then, I think he's a little out of our league. <laughs> yeah, maybe. But I can only believe that one day we're totally outclass him. I mean, we're pretty much well. Anyway, we best get going. This is no time to be horsing around if we're gonna become world-class bracers, we gotta get moving. Mm. You're absolutely right. Let's hit the road and see where it takes us. Quest Lighthouse Monsters completed. So we go back to Magnolia? Question mark? I'm not interested in fighting this plant. Manoria village. Do, 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 do. 
do, do. Whoops. One more rest to go. And off we go. Gala Seaside Way. Let me just save another round and then we should be. Uh, wait. Can I, can I, where's my mouse? There it is. I should check the beach before I continue. First of all, this is one interesting monster. I haven't seen this one before. It's a fish, I wanna grill it. Night Nautilus. Maybe if it's petrified, then it's not that dangerous looking anymore. I should have saved myself a little bit. It doesn't seem to do anything. Oh no, it seems like it's before me. How much does this monster still have? Maybe I should go on the safer side. Yeah, I probably should have done this before. So, welcome back! I ran through the lighthouse. Just want to mention this. Self destruct. I'm glad I didn't run into it. So, this is a bomb fish. What kind of fish do we have here? Crocodile. Piranhas. Uh, let's see. Crocodarks. I don't feel like I want to mess with these things. But they do seem a little weak. So maybe I can just uh, fireball the first one down. They are also a little bit slow. This is confusing. Uh, let's see. Drill strike on this guy. And then a hurricane on there. Nops, this guy still survived. And now I lost Joshua. I somehow expected this to happen. <sighs> I want so much sometimes. Let's take a second look on the beach, because they are just another crocodile. And here we have a chest. Found a tear bomb. Fill this chest with your tears, because it's empty. That's actually sad. Ah, be a nice crocodile. Is that a spider? Gosh. Uh, Here it was. <clears throat> uh, let's rest for a short moment. Cussing all my mirror to save all the time. Do, do, do. To, to rest all the time, not save. Do, 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 do. So where did the map went again what was this kind of oh, it's this kind of fish again okay here's my mask mercy orphanage i actually want i actually have to go up there i wanted to read the sign myself but thanks for the help north mercy orphanage look like it's up head, head. yeah What's wrong, Estella? Yes. Okay, that's settled. It's 
The situation has nothing to do with it. It's not okay to take things from people. When we find them, we need to punish them. <laughs> Leave it to you to get all worked up over it. But for right now, you need to just settle down, okay? East Rune, 238 Selge. West Manoria Village, 74 Selge. North Messier Orphanage. I kinda expected this, I just wanted to try. I have the dialogue finished, just in case. Mercy Orphanage. I swear, Clem, where did you go? This girl is gonna be worried about you. <laughs> no, she won't. Not after I show her the awesome thing I got. What you get, Clem? <laughs> no, don't freak out or ask anything. I just borrowed it from some crazy lady I ran into. Who are you calling crazy? Huh? Uh, what are you doing here? <laughs> I'm a bracer. Give me a little credit. Wherever a delinquent like you girls will figure it out in no time. Damn it. Well, you're not catching me. Hey, get back here. Hey, mister, what's going on? Did Clem do something bad again? Um, sorry to budge in like this. Damn it! Let go! Let go! I sue you for child abuse! You're a real rat, you know that? Now give me back my emblem. You got no proof I took it. Well, you're right on that one. But that's nothing a quick search wouldn't fix. Yeah. <laughs> hey, cut it out. That tickles. Herbert, Come on. Just give it up and hand over what you took. Zeke. What? What the hell was that? Get away from the boy. Lay another hand on him and you have me to come. Huh? Hey, you're that. I remember you from Manoria. Scree? You're fucking. Help me, Miss Chloe. I didn't do anything and she's being mean to me. Didn't do anything? My butt. You stole my emblem. Hey. So where's your proof? And no tickling this time. Hey, we meet again. Oh, hello. I'm sorry, I thought for sure that a thief had broken in. I assume there's a reason for all this. There sure is, Miss Chloe. Clem was being bad again. Hey, is the apple pie ready yet? That, that could be me. I don't care what, what's happened all around me, I just want the apple pie. <laughs> you have to wait a little longer, it's still time to bake. You're free and bad! Shite abuser! When are you gonna grow up, clan? Is the pie down yet? Or totally be, totally be. This has gotten out of hand. Oh, <laughs> yes, I suppose it has. My, what's all that noise? Matron Trerero. I don't know the full story, but it sounds like Claire's been at the market. <laughs> hey, no fair. I didn't do anything. The pervert lady just says I did. Who are you calling a pervert? Oh dear, this won't do. Clem, did you really not do anything? Of course not. Do you swear to ideas? Uh, I swear. I see. It's just that you dropped some kind of badge in the nursery earlier. That wasn't you, was it? But, but it was in my pants pocket. 
I told you. Oh my. Nicely done. Clem, no more excuses. Give her back what you stole. All right, all right. I give it back, so just drop it. Clem tossed the emblem over to Estelle. Wow. Hey, I'm out of here. Clem, it's all right. He'll be back when he starts getting cold. What's at the point? Why is everyone standing around? Why don't you tell me the whole story of our cup of tea? Estelle introduced herself and explained about the recent events of a veritable feast of tea and pie. Where's the child who wants the pie? I'm, I'm disappointed. He really isn't a mean spirited child, but he can be quite a little trickster. As his guardian, I must apologize. I'm truly sorry. Uh, it's okay, I got my emblem back. Plus, I got some tasty herbal tea and other pie out of it. So we square. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Bubbles. The tea was really the best part, so. It's just like the kind they brew in the tavern. Is it grown locally? Yes, gardening is one of my hobbies, actually. I get some of to the barkeep at the tavern whenever I have extra. Neat. I'm gonna have to give up my boat to the apple pie, though. It was just plain amazing. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can't take credit take credit for that. She made it. She? Who? You, Chloe? This is still so embarrassing. I was really rude earlier. To think I could be so mistaken. Oh, don't worry about it. Apple pie heals all wounds or something like that. She played way too much video games. Futa always heals. Besides, I wasn't acting like any kind of saint myself. That red hog sure surprised the hell out of me, so... Uh, that was Zeke. He's Jeff Hagen. Jeff Hagen? That's a little natural bird, isn't it? You seemed really comfortable with him. Is he your pet? No, I don't keep him. He's a close friend, so... Wow, as friends go, he's pretty awesome. That reminds me, aren't you a student at the Royal Academy? But you live here? No, I stay in the girls' dorm on campus. It's not that far away, so I like to come and visit when I can. I sometimes worry I might be kind of a bother, so... Oh dear, please don't think that. You're always so helpful when you come by. And the children are always happy to see you. Matron, I personally worry that you might be neglecting your duties at school in favor of us. I know that's a silly concern to have about you. I won't let you down. Mm, you live on campus, huh? I always kind of wanted to know what that was like. I imagine that we got a weekly taste of it at the church lessons. But is an entrance exam for the academy pretty hard? I think my head would explode if I had to take an exam like that. <laughs> it's not that hard. Not so hard. I think it must be far more difficult to become a bracer. You know, I always kind of wanted to be one, ever since I was a little girl. <laughs> I don't even know what to say to that. You call me a bracer, but I'm still just an apprentice. We have to travel all over the kingdom before we can at once. I think we've been in room for a little while, so... In that case, perhaps I have a chance to repay you. Plus, the children would love for you to come back and play again. I prepare a whole mountain of tea and baked goods. She had me at baked goods. Well, that was basically the last thing she had said. My friend Teresa sure is a nice lady. Yes, she's very motherly. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure all the children here think of her as their mother. Oh, Zeke. Were you waiting for me? Scream? That's right. They're not here to help anyone. This is Estelle and that's Joshua. You remember them, right? Scream! Good boy. 
Well, you can actually talk to him. Well, he doesn't actually talk per se, but I can understand what he's trying to say. We've always been able to tell what the other is feeling. Wow. Bird telepathy is so cool. Sounds like mutual love to me. It is. Hello, Zeke. I'm Estelle. It's nice to meet you. Now, read my mind. Scree. Scree. Oh. Oh. Am I so too complex to read? <laughs> if you were thinking of it, I think you were thinking of then no. <laughs> Snicker. Oh, by the way, aren't you too uh, heated for room? Yeah, we were planning to register the local guild. If we don't do that, we can't work. Well, if you're going to Iranian guild, I have a few things to do over there myself. Maybe I could show you around. Really? That'd be great. But don't you have to go back to school soon? No, it's alright. I got special permissions to be out today. I don't have to return until after nightfall. Sounds like a plan then. Let's go to room. So can I loot something? To be honest, if this, game, if this game would have an achievement to kill one of those children here, I would totally do it. Because it would have been an achievement. Wow, that I would have dialogue noises, voices in here. So all the kids sleep in one room and the caretaker sleeps in a different one. Interesting. So... <laughs> what? <laughs> I meant what I say. There's an achievement, I want to have it. Birds! Found fresh eggs. Miss Chloe. Oh, right, he ran away. Clem? Oh, it's that bread. You know you shouldn't be playing around here. What would you do if a monster attacked you? I just had to come to apologize to you. I'm sorry for lying about the emblem thing. <laughs> well, don't worry, I'm not mad at you. But isn't there someone else you should be apologizing to? <laughs> no, no, there isn't. Totally not. Mm -mm. No, no way. Never mind. I know you're a good boy. So why don't you go and apologize? I'm sorry, Joshua. I didn't mean to steal that emblem of your weird little waifu. Well, if you want me to, I guess I gotta. Um, Miss Bracer Lady. I'm... I'm sorry. <laughs> You're apologizing to me? So there is justice in this world? <laughs> hey, don't get me wrong. I just wanted to apologize to Miss Chloe. Are Bracer supposed to pay attention to what's going on? If a little kid like me can grab something off you so easily, what's your excuse? Yeah. Bye bye. Make sure you own the training of yours before you lose something even more valuable. But a little red. Settle down, he was just trying to hide his own embarrassment. Not to mention, you really aren't the most attentive person in the world. Maybe you should heed his advice. Uh, you're even a bigger bread. <laughs> you two must be really close. I mean, you act like brother and sister. Controller, don't mess around with me, you're annoying me. Uh, we do? Only in so far as we try to look out for each other. Oh, that's a big help. <laughs> I'm honestly a little envious. I was only a, I wasn't only child. 
I wish I knew what kind of, that kind of relationships feel like. Huh? Huh? It's nothing. Anyway, shouldn't we be heating up? We can get to ruin just by following the beach. Okay, let's get going then. Uh, I think I want to make it a cut. Because I think I already played about 125 minutes again in this game, so uh, yeah.